Harry faces the grim reality of Invictus Metamorphosis. He didn't invent it. Hello and welcome back to Royal Family News. YouTube. None of us can quite understand why Invictus is trying to maintain this bond with Harry. Harry uses his charity by presenting these absurd participation bills. Harry is now the boss, and probably the supporter of. He is certainly not a supporter or protector of competition. Nor is it philanthropic. He's not a real sponsor of the annual events, he often claims that Harry is the founder and that's not true either. The Invites is a competitive event that showcases the invincible spirit of wounded, ill and struggling service members, the competition was not invented by Harry. So mostly Invictus Games modeled after American Warrior Games. Now Harry himself saw them on a trip to the United States 10 years ago. In 2013, the Wounded Warrior Games featured no less than 11 adaptive sports including archery, athletics, swimming, rowing, shooting, cycling, weightlifting, wheelchair basketball rolling, sitting, volleyball and even wheelchair rugby. And then part of Invictus is also borrowed from the Paralympic Games or international multi-sport events involving disabled athletes. Now, since the 988 Olympics, the Paralympics have been held immediately after their respective Olympics, which means Harry is hardly the inventor of Vitus. I mean, maybe he was inspired by the idea of following the lead of others, but it's definitely not his creation. All Harry did was emulate a concept following in the footsteps of the Warrior Games and the Paralympic Games and glorifying the creator of Invictus. And boy, Harry was more than happy to gobble up all the pre- and post-mega gaming praise for something that wasn't even his idea. Cheers and applause, which seems contagious because he's so attached to his own mean wife, Meghan Markle gets all the praise, but he's not the one making it up. He wants all the recognition, but he's a rebel. And now in the past I've uploaded a video about Harry and the victims and some comments have been made regarding Harry's connection to his team. Well, what bond exactly were people talking about? I understand that Harry was sent to Afghanistan's Helmand province throughout 2007 to 2008 and sent maybe 25 Taliban insurgents saying they were basically just chess pieces boasting about his murders, only did he shame the British ARs by putting their lives on the line, he also put his own life on the line. How dare Harry act so proud to remember the 25 kill count? I mean, he could have seen a lot of wounded servicemen in two combat missions in Afghanistan. But what exactly does he understand of the consequences of war? What do you know about disability, so today's Invictus games involve his former disabled comrades who are crippled, they are injured, they are weakened by their courage in conflict, they are out of action. And they are also down. And many people are just exhausted and broken by what they went through during the war. There are hundreds of people who, due to their injuries, are unable to work and therefore have to rely on these state disability pensions while Harry lives on welfare. So please explain to me the connection between Prince Harry and the disadvantage of people who really suffer, what exactly does Meghan and Harry have? Spirit of the Invictus? What exactly do they contribute to the excitement or atmosphere of the event? Prince William and Catherine Although they are not active participants, they still donated $1 million to the Invictus Games Foundation. Now, to me, that's way more important than what Harry and Meghan are doing, even if we're not talking about money. Exactly what Harry and Meghan did for the character and motivation for the event, other than showing up, which is not only unnecessary but superficial. So you know what? Congratulations to the brave disabled veterans of the victims who sacrificed themselves for the late Queen and their country. We should care about them, we should focus on them. They are the ones who should be the center of attention, not a few crooks without the courage of these men and women. There would be none and they are the ones who deserve a round of applause as well as the compliments and distinctions that follow. They deserve the splendor of our praise. They deserve all the prestige to be celebrated, who should be honored? Not Harry and Meghan. They only bring shame, disgrace and dishonor to such an extraordinary concept. Prince, Harry and Meghan are two liars. There are some loudmouths who, with their own parade and their own pop, have devalued the very spirit of Invictus because they turn into a circus for their masquerade. 
I mean Victor Harry Racecourse is a grand festival of glitz and pageantry and illusion for a very insecure person. He wants all the glory because he himself is so insignificant. So boring. Creating a concept like Invictus from scratch takes a lot of creativity. Creativity that Harry certainly doesn't have the arrogant and narrow-minded imprints of can even write his own name, let alone break new ground with a concept like Invite, now a lot of great ideas are borrowed, but at Victor's is the design that was stolen from Harry. Harry is basically like a pirate. Looting in Pete takes people's money and walks away with other people's ideas, while claiming all the credit and getting all the praise. Harry is no better than a thief. He stole someone else's idea and now he's trying to pass it off as his own. I've been a fan of the Use Wounded Warrior program since the beginning and when Harry decided to start developing a similar program, was I going to pay attention? And I was quite surprised when it became known as Harry's idea, like no one else had ever thought of it. But the difference with Harry's version is that the location of the games has been moved to other countries. The Wounded Warrior organization really stuck with the idea of helping soldiers, but after the first few years it seems Harry was really inconsistent when it came to finding the sponsors that made the games financially solvable. Even recently, games that took place last year only featured Harry and Meghan and all her overpriced clothes and jewelry praising Harry, instead of featuring the contestants themselves.5 people who wanted to watch the games. We heard that Netflix will air this part on a certain date and come a little later. Well, I guess that's another big joke because the games are going to be happening again this year and we never got to see them last year. It seems that Invictus has really lost sight of its purpose. There's no real care or concern for the injured, and Harry has never personally contributed to the Invis, I mean, and that's pretty amazing considering all the accolades he's received in the over the years, given what we know now, after dispelling his lack of integrity, he obviously thinks his presence is more than enough. Not only did Harry give nothing to the games, but he also withdrew something, thus getting compensation for his expenses. To make matters worse, he and Meghan received attendance fees, starting with his bizarre involvement which no one even wanted. Harry having lost all of his military titles, he decided to give Mega a storyteller for Disney. Instead of attending the event to go, and he really turned his back on his own family and the Commonwealth countries, I think it's not fair for Harry to be the boss of a game aimed at physically and or mentally injured soldiers and Prince, a veteran, would also be a more suitable patron in my opinion, as at least he actually flew for the RAF, and now, obviously, I wouldn't be in favor of bringing him back as a working member of the royal family. But it would still be a good job for him. I think he would be more than proud to do so. And you. What do you think of Harry? Let us know what you think below in the comment section. If you find my video useful, don't be afraid to lie and share it with your friends and family in need whenever you want and subscribe to the Royal Family News Channel to support us ever more. Again, thank you very much. For watching, goodbye and we'll be back to see you all tonight.